Okay, perfect. Whatever you need to do, and then you stand wherever you want to stand. Okay. This is ball handling. This drill is called the commando drill. Okay, notice that the girls are dribbling two balls at the same time and doing a reverse pivot and going back. As they progress in this drill, they'll do alternating. So alternating back and forth, reverse pivot. They're reverse pivoting either way. Meantime, their eyes are staying up the whole time. Their ball is lower than their knee and they are moving quickly between the cone and the, and the sideline. Okay, the next one, they are doing a crossover. Okay, in that speed, that crossover is quick, and they're changing direction and into the different lanes. Okay, so now we move into one hand after the two-hand commando drill, after all those moves are done, they move into one hand. Okay, notice their eyes are staying up, they're low, they're level. Okay, they're not going up and down and changing the position of themselves. So you can do crossover between the legs, behind the back, um, and then they change direction. Notice that movement in between is very quick and they're changing lanes. When they get here, that reverse pivot, they're going to the same side that, they're, that they're, the ball is on. So they're coming here, they're jump stopping, and then they're reverse pivoting towards whatever hand that ball is in. This should take about five to six minutes to do this whole dribbling sequence. The next one they will be doing between the legs. So halfway between the cone and the sideline, they'll go, they'll make a move and go between and do a, a crossover between the leg around the back. Notice that they're moving very quick. They stay level the whole time. Their eyes are staying up. Um, they're moving with a purpose and they're covering ground. They're going quick between the cone and the sideline. When they dribble the ball, their fingers are staying on, on their fingertips and not their palm. Okay, great. The next drill we're doing is called cut the grass. In this drill, they just, they make up their own movement. They make up their own kind of sequence of ball handling and then they go um, in their own confined little area and they um, make up their moves. So behind the back, between the legs, around the back. Um, but again, their eyes are staying up, their ball is below their knee, um, they're moving with a purpose. You notice Zeta, she is moving, um, her, her movements are quick. The movements between those movements are very slow and that's what we're looking for. She's changing direction in that own confined area. This is shooting. This is our warm up for every practice before we even start doing any drills. Go ahead. The first one, they are doing right and left handed layups. As you notice, their hands are extended the whole entire time. The ball is staying up in the air, okay? Their arms are not coming down at all, okay? Your goal is to shoot 10 for 10, okay? 10 makes, or 10 shots for 10 makes. Okay, when they progress to the second move, okay, it's called a little jump shot. Okay, they move side to side. They shoot with their right hand and their left hand. When they shoot with their left hand, even though they might be right-handed, okay, that's okay. We want, we're looking for that. The right hand and the left hand should be the exact same strength-wise on the court. You see they're moving with a purpose. They're doing it quick. They're not, this is not a walking drill. Okay, when they're done with that, when they make 10, they move out to the block. They go block to block with their dominant hand. So if they're right-handed, they shoot right-handed. If they're left-handed, they shoot left-handed. As you notice, key things here, they're keeping the ball above their head. Okay, their arms are fully extended. They're moving with a purpose side to side and they're shooting for 10, sh 10 shots for 10 makes. This drill is called 30 for 30. You get 30 seconds to shoot 10 and then you rotate between the three different levels. 
So the next part we're going to do is called our beef shooting. Okay, this is all about our form shooting. Okay, so Katie Johnson here is going to sit in a form shot that she would do before practice. So, great. So Katie is balanced, okay? The first one is beef. Her feet are, are wider than shoulder width apart. The second is her elbow. Okay, when she goes up to shoot, okay, her elbow is at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to have you turn to the side. Yeah. Her elbow is at a 90 degree angle. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Her eyes are on the rim. Now, we don't just look anywhere on the rim. We look at a certain spot on the rim. Okay, either that's the back of the rim. I teach a lot of my girls to look at that W shape on the rim, that first kind of peg where the net meets. Okay. Okay, another thing. Okay, when we shoot, we need at least three fingertips between the ball and her palm. Okay, we do not shoot with her palm on the ball. Okay, we shoot with her fingertips on top of the ball. Okay, and when Katie goes and shoots, okay, that backspin, that rotation is coming and backspinning towards her. Okay, she's gonna do it again. Great, that guide hand, I want you to look at that. Okay, that guide hand never moves. Okay, it stays on the ball. It's just to support and balance the ball on top of her fingertips. Okay, I want you to turn to the side once and do the same thing. Okay, now when we do form shooting, we shoot with both hands. So when Katie Johnson goes to the hoop, okay, she's gonna shoot in front of the rim. She's gonna shoot 10 shots with her right hand, 10 shots with her left hand. Okay, go ahead. Yep, so this is how we start. Every practice is shooting with our form shooting. And you notice she comes to the front of the rim. She doesn't come out to the three-point line and start shooting threes, okay? It's all about form shooting, that fingertips. It's not on your palm, it's on your fingertips, that balance. She's using her legs. Your legs are the biggest muscle in your body, and if you don't use your legs to get the ball up there, you're gonna be short every single time, okay? And then she, when she makes 10, she's gonna move to the left, her left hand. Okay, now Katie's right-handed. That's okay, because she's gonna be using her left hand a lot with dribbling, with shooting, okay? When she does this, okay, the final F part of this of shooting is follow through, okay? When she shoots, okay, she's holding this, hold it, she's holding it up here like your hand is in the cookie jar, okay? That is what I teach my girls, do it again, okay? Hold it, flick it down really hard. The harder you flick it, the better that rotation, the more chances of it going in. All right, so this is how we pass, okay? So anytime we're on the right, side of the court, okay, and we're passing up, okay, we always pass with our outside hand, okay, what I mean by this, if Jenna is going to pass a ball to me, okay, she is going to jump stop, she's rotating her hips, okay, and she's passing with her outside hand, now Jenna's right handed, okay, or sh she's left handed, okay, but she's still passing with her left hand on this side, vice versa on this side of the court, okay, she's going to jump stop and she's going to rotate and pass with her right hand. Okay, why do we pass with our outside hand? It's the less likely for our opponents to steal the ball. Okay, so we're gonna do our layup progression drill, okay, with this. Okay, so we're really working on passing, okay, with our outside hand, as well as they're gonna attack the basket and shoot a layup, power layup, and a jump shot. As you notice, they take one dribble to get to the basket. They are waiting for the ball to get back to them and sweeping, that sweep is low to the ground. That sweep is low to the ground and they're shooting with their right hand for a right handed layup. Now they're moving into a power layup. Okay, they wait for it, they catch it, they wait for it and catch it and sweep and they're powering it up two feet, off of two feet. Great. They keep it on the outside of their body when they shoot it. They don't rock the baby. Job, Zeta. Jump shot. Same thing. They wait till they get the ball back. They sweep and they shoot a jump shot. This is called our layup progression drill. We do it on both sides before every practice. How to grow. Okay, so I talked about beef a lot, okay? Balance, eyes, elbow, and follow through, okay? I'm gonna use another acronym quick. It's for, our sh or it's for when you shoot, okay? We call SHOT, okay? The first letter, S, okay, is to actually shoot the ball, okay? The second letter is H, hold your follow through, okay? 
The O stands for observe, and the T stands for track. So I'm gonna have Maddie uh, demonstrate what I mean by that, okay? So just go really slow, okay? And I'm gonna have you lead through it, okay? So she's gonna shoot the, sh she's gonna shoot the ball when I ask her to. Okay, that's the first letter. She's gonna hold her follow through. What I mean by observe, she's observing where the ball is going. Okay, what the ball is doing. If it's a good shot, she'll know if it's a good shot versus bad shot. And then tracking, okay, she's gonna track that ball until it hits the rim. Okay, a lot of uh, coaches say to follow your shot. We don't teach that um, to follow your shot because you're tempted to shoot quicker and not what your ability is. Okay, so Maddie's gonna shoot. Okay, she's holding that follow through. She observed the ball. It went up and it went down and then she tracked the ball. She went to go get the ball when she's done. Okay, we're moving into pivoting. Great, okay, I'm gonna have Jenna do it again, but I'm gonna have her slow down. Okay, so she's gonna come, she's gonna jump stop and hold it, okay? Great, you notice you didn't hear her feet on that jump stop, okay? We do not jump stop like this, okay? She's on the balls of her feet. Now when she pivots, the ball is moving with that pivot, okay? She is deciding what foot to pivot off of, okay, and she's using her elbows to protect that ball, okay? Good job, John. We're moving into setting a screen. So this is what it should look like. Katie's deciding to set a down screen, okay? So she's saying down screen, down screen, down screen. Meantime, Maggie has to walk her player in. So Jenna's gonna go with her. And then she has to make a quick movement to come out, okay? This is how we set a screen. Notice when Katie sets a screen, her hands are either down um, below her waist or above by her chest. Good. Good job. Okay, notice now, Katie needs to do a little better job of making contact with her player. Okay, that means when she sets a screen, okay, Maggie has to do a good job of coming hip to hip, really close to her, so Jenna has to, has to run into Katie. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now, I wanna go flip. Offense, defense, okay. Maddie and Jenna, I want you to do the same exact thing. Go hip to hip for me, please, okay. Perfect, okay, and I want you to pop, okay. I want you to stop. As soon as you come past Maddie, I want you to stop, okay. So Maddie's gonna come set a down screen, okay, stop, okay. This is too far, okay. Why is this too far? Okay, because this is really easy to guard, okay. Now we're gonna do it again, okay. I'm gonna show Jenna where did it exactly go. Okay, this is really good, okay? Right here, she needs to come right here. See how there's really no movement? Now that defender has to trail. Okay, if she's gonna pick the trail, she's gotta trail. Perfect, okay? Now, Jenna's not gonna stop right there, okay? When she comes down and Maddie sets a screen, okay, she's gonna pop all the way. Perfect. Okay, see how much space created because of that screen. Maddie made contact, Jenna went hips and shoulders together to Maddie, okay, and we had to trail. Okay, good job. Okay, so here we're gonna set a screen now again, okay, and we're gonna work on communicating. Okay, here we go. Great, awesome. Both teams need to communicate, okay? The offensive players need to tell them what kind of screen they're coming, so Jenna knows that this is coming for a down screen, and Katie needs to tell her player that she's gonna come get a screen so Maggie can Maggie can set up exactly right of how she's going to guard the screen. So we're gonna go into different types of screens. This is called the flare screen. Okay, so we're gonna start up here, offense, defense. You'll be offense. Okay, perfect, what you're gonna do is Katie, you're gonna start over there. Okay, you're gonna come and say flare, flare, flare. Okay, Maggie, you're gonna come get the point here. Okay, and you're gonna back pedal for a pass. Okay, and uh, Katie, you're gonna set the screen right here. Okay, butt to sideline. Okay. Ready, go. Good job. Good job, okay. Notice when Maggie came down here, she touched the pinpoint, she backpedaled. Notice my screener's butt is towards the sideline. She's backpedaling for that pass. Okay, and Jenna did exactly right. How to guard the screen is she has to trail with her hands up. Okay, Maddie is, is kind of like the safety in this all. She's watching it all happen because if we come back here, okay, without the ball, 
Okay, Maddie needs to make sure that she's gonna go out instead of curling, okay? So she wants to make sure she comes here. Jenna's gonna trail, yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, she's here because, come back. Jenna, you're trailing still here. She has to stop her from going here and curling to the basket. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so let's do it full speed. Maddie, do exactly what you just did. Perfect, exactly. Now, make sure you don't help too much. Okay, because you're here, she's out there, you got her. Okay, now you gotta worry about her because you don't want her to slip. Okay, make sense? Okay, one more time. Perfect, exactly. Good job, perfect, exactly. Now we're gonna move into back screen, okay? So back screen, okay, when we set a back screen, okay, our butt is to the baseline now. Okay, so Jenna's gonna come set a back screen. This person has to let our teammate know that she a back screen's coming. Okay, so you're saying back screen, back screen, back screen. Okay, that way Katie knows to jump the screen and follow Maddie on the back side. Okay, here we go. This is a defense. <laughs> Perfect, exactly. Okay, now don't help too much. Okay, okay you gotta help here and then recover. Okay, again. Perfect, exactly, exactly, good job. Okay. We're moving in now what to do on down screens. So there's two different options, okay? You can either curl, curl cut or pop, okay? And then they curl around the screen, great, awesome. Okay, notice when Jenna curled, she was tight to this screener. She's tight, she's down, she's looking for the ball, she has her hands ready. Okay, here we go. Say ball, ball, ball. Perfect. Okay, now on a curl, you can, either, you can either shoot a layup or you can shoot a jump shot. Shoot a jump shot, Zeta. Perfect. Again. Perfect. Awesome, here we go. Okay, notice the passer is not passing it behind the player. They're passing it in front of the player. Here we go. Awesome. One more time. One more, Zaid. Awesome, good job, okay? Now we're gonna move into a pop. Okay, so you're here, okay? You're gonna pass to me, you're acting like this is a screen, so you're walking the player down, and you're coming here, getting your feet set, pop and shoot, okay? Got it? Need me to walk through it again? Yes, yeah, so you pass to me. Okay, you can pass it right here, fine. Okay, but you walk the player down like it's an actual screen. Come here, okay, get your feet set however you want. Shoot, okay. Notice when they start, they walk the player down. They're coming hip to hip with that trainer, okay, and they shoot a shot, okay. They work their feet however's comfortable for them, okay. Notice this passer's still passing with their outside hand, okay. Good job, Zeta. Notice that they're low. When they come off that screen, they're low. They're, they're low to the ground. They're already ready to shoot, okay? They're using that beef concept. Their balance, their elbows are bent, okay? Their eyes are already on the rim. They already know that they're gonna shoot before they get the ball. One more. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go and kind of work on uh, their shooting feet, how your feet should be when you shoot. So when I say left hip pocket, okay, it goes into their left hip pocket. Okay, when I say right hip pocket, it goes into their right, great. Now, when Jenna catches the ball, she is going right left every single time, okay? Okay, great. Again, right left every single time, okay? It's going automatically in that left hip pocket of hers, okay? I can throw it anywhere. If I go throw it over here, okay, she's still going, try again. Okay, if I go throw it over here, she's still gonna go left, right. Okay, she's catching it balance. Anywhere I pass to her, okay, she's going left, right. Okay, if I go to Zeta, okay, she is going left, right. Okay, left, right there. Okay, ready? There, left, right, right hip pocket. Here, left, right, perfect. 
Okay, notice her feet are very quiet. Okay, her feet are very quiet. She's going left hip pocket. She is ready to shoot in triple threat position. She's ready to shoot. She's ready to pass. She's ready to drive. Okay, good job. Okay, when we do transition, um, we are going to talk about filling the correct lanes. Okay, so this is a drill I like to do for transition. Okay, Jenna gets the rebound. Katie fills. Okay, we fill lanes. Okay, now I have cones here, but when we get to the game, there aren't going to be cones. Okay, here's my point guard. She is the number one spot. She determines where everybody else goes. Okay, she fills a lane, but her spots are either here, lane line extended, or here, lane line extended. Okay, my twos and threes. Okay, they run the lanes as fast and as quick as they can. Okay, you are lane runners. Okay, here's another lane. This is my four. Okay, my four is the one that always takes out the ball, okay, and de de uh, determines which side Katie is on, or the point guard. Okay, so if the point guard picks the left side, uh, or my four or Maddie, in this case, needs to know that she needs to fill this spot. Okay, and my post. Okay, my post is my rim to rim runner. Okay, she's running from rim to rim and picking a block. Okay, this is my five. Okay, so we have one, my two and three, my four, and my five. Okay, I run a four out, one in offense. Okay, so with this, what can we do? Okay, it's a lot of passing and cutting. Okay, so as soon as you pass, you cut away. Okay, so this group is gonna show you exactly how to pass and cut away. Go screen, go screen. Yep. Yep, oh, perfect. Get out of there, Maggie. Fill up Zeta. Okay, so this is where we're just working on passing and cutting with no off or with no defense. Okay, we're really working on defense or on uh, the offense right now. Okay, with no defense. Okay, notice how high and wide we stay. Okay, that leaves Jenna very, very capable of moving from block to block. Right now I'm keeping her on one block. Okay, so there's more and more room for our guards to drive here. Out of this sequence, you can do whatever you want. Okay, pretty much whatever you want. Okay, um, you can cut, pass away, you can screen, you can do our flares. Okay, you can curl cut. Anytime we pass into the lane, okay, we cut through, we fill over or we fill up. Okay. Always moving, we are never standing, okay? Outside hand, outside hand. <laughs> Those same little concepts when we pass, okay? We always pass with our outside hand. So we're gonna screen away. Maybe you're gonna screen for Zeta. Zeta's gonna come over and fill that spot. At, at all points, all four spots need to be filled. All right, we're, I'm going to show you a drill to work on transition offense. Um, it's called, I just call it transition and filling lanes. Okay, great. Do it again. Come back. Okay, so I always have a rebounder. Okay, so in this case, Zeta is my rebounder. She's, she's pitting it off the rebound. She's catching it high. She's outletting, outlet it to Maddie. She, meantime, she is following her pass. Okay, as soon as Maddie catches it on the outlet, okay, she's dribbling with her left hand. Okay, she's going in the direction of the left side of the court, so she needs to dribble with her left hand. Okay, come back. Okay, meantime, my flyer, okay, is sprinting as hard as she can up the court. She's sprinting as hard. Maddie's still dribbling, needs to make a decision by the half court line. Passes up. And it's a layup. Okay. Perfect. Notice the ball didn't hit the ground once. Okay, except for when Maddie dribbled. Okay, she caught it on the layup. The pass was in front of her, and she used her left hand to score the layup.